Saudi Arabia plans to open a store in Riyadh where non-Muslims can buy alcohol. This will be the first alcohol shop in the city in over 70 years. The purpose is to provide a legal option for diplomats who have been bringing in alcohol using official sealed packages, called diplomatic pouches. These actions are part of a series of efforts called Vision 2030, aimed at making Saudi society more liberal. The Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman, is leading these initiatives. The establishment of a liquor store in Riyadh caused backlash from Muslims worldwide. In Islam, the consumption of alcoholic beverages is explicitly forbidden and considered haram, meaning prohibited by Islamic law. The prohibition is rooted in the teachings of the Quran, the holy book of Islam, as well as in the sayings and practices of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. One of the key Quranic verses addressing the issue is found in Surah Al-Baqarah, where Allah states, They ask you about wine and gambling. Say, in them is great sin and yet, some benefit for people. But their sin is greater than their benefit. This verse acknowledges that there may be some worldly benefits in alcohol, but the harm it brings outweighs any potential advantages. The negative consequences of intoxication on both an individual and societal level are emphasized, leading to the conclusion that the harms associated with alcohol consumption are far more significant than any benefits. Additionally, Surah Al-Ma'ida explicitly forbids intoxicants, stating, O you who have believed, indeed, intoxicants, gambling, sacrificing on stone altars to other than Allah, and divining arrows are but defilement from the work of Satan, so avoid it that you may be successful. Satan only wants to cause between you animosity and hatred through intoxicants and gambling and to avert you from the remembrance of Allah and from prayer, so will you not desist. These verses emphasize not only the spiritual and moral implications of consuming alcohol but also the potential harm it can cause to interpersonal relationships and one's connection with Allah. The prohibition serves as a safeguard against the detrimental effects of alcohol, aligning with the broader Islamic principles of promoting righteousness, justice, and the protection of human welfare.